It's fabled, it's fabled, it's fabled with Dina Kama. Hey kids and welcome to Fabled with Dina Kamal. That's me. A series where I'll be taking you on a journey through space and time by exploring different cultures through the beauty of story, fables and folklore. And in today's podcast, we will be exploring tales from the land of the rising sun. Long, long ago, in a small village near the sea in the south of Japan, there lived a young fisher, Yurashima Taro. One day, as Yurashima Taro returned home, he noticed a group of rowdy children tormenting a small turtle. Yurashima Taro's heart went out to the turtle. Children, that is such a fine turtle. Why not help it back to the sea? The children only laughed and continued to poke at the poor turtle. If you will give me the turtle, I will give you all my money from today's catch. The children looked at the large catch of fish and decided to sell the turtle. The kind-hearted fisher spoke softly to the turtle. You, my friend, will live a long and full life in the beautiful sea. And he set the turtle into the waves. Days passed, and as usual, Yurashima Taro went to the sea to fish. A strange voice drifted up through the water and disturbed his thoughts. Yurashima Taro-san! Yurashima Taro-san! When he turned his attention to the world around him, he saw a large and ancient turtle at his side. Yurashima Taro-san! I am the one you saved from the children, said the turtle. As repaying for your kindness, I am here to take you into the presence of the king. The king who lives beneath the sea. Servants stood aside and bowed low as the turtle led his guest into the throne room. The turtle and the fisher knelt and bowed before the rich king. Is this the fisher who saved you? asked the king. The turtle raised his head and replied, Yes, your majesty. Come, fisher, said the king. We have prepared a great entertainment for you. Hiroshima Taro's raised his eyes. The king turned to his right and said, My daughter, a beautiful, young princess rose from the throne below. Her many kimonos blended the colors of all the fish from the coral reefs. Her long hair, like black silk, was crowned by a royal headdress. She bowed as she turned to Yurashima Taro. He, in turn, fell to his knees and pressed his forehead against the tatami. My daughter will be your guide, continued the king. The princess said, Fisher, help her off the wise turtle. Follow me. Together, they visited the sea creatures both those the fisher knew from home and others more wonderful than he had ever imagined. They ate delicacies brought from the seven seas prepared by the best chefs and read from the old scrolls. The sights, sounds and tastes were beyond any the fisher had ever experienced in his life above the waves. He lost track of time while listening to strange music, eating royal delicacies and reading Tales of old from the seas. One day, he began to miss his home. Although 
He tried to keep his spirits happy. The princess guessed his thoughts. The next day, when Yurashimo Taro answered his summons, he saw his old friend, the turtle, with the princess. It has been our pleasure to share our life with you here beneath the sea. Now, we understand that you wish to return to your home, your highness. You have been so kind to me. I do not want to appear ungrateful, but in your wisdom, you have guessed correctly. The princess gave Yurashima Taro a black lacquered box tied with a red ribbon. As long as you own this chest and leave it closed, happiness will be yours. Yurashima Taro received the chest in both hands and bowed low. I shall guard it, always as a remembrance of your kindness, he said. With that, he mounted the back of the turtle and began the return to his journey above the waves. Hiroshima Taro hurried to his village, anxious to share his adventures with his family. But to his amazement, all was changed. Search as he might, he could not find his home. When he asked after his family, only the oldest men of the village knew of them. And they only knew old stories of the fisher and his parents. He had no one to share his plans, and sadness filled his heart. He then thought of the box and the happiness inside it which the princess had left him. But, ignoring her warning, he opened the lid. A tendril of smoke escaped the box, swirled around Yurashima Taro and floated away in the gentle wind. The fisher looked down at his hands. They were gnarled and deeply waned. As he turned in sorrow, to walk back to the village, his steps slow and halting. A young boy in passing noticed an old man with long white hair and beard making his unsteady way along the shore. Indeed, it was Yurashima Taro who had pursued happiness over obedience and so he lost the protection against the effects of time. And that's all for today's story. Personally, I feel really bad for Yurashima Taro. But what can you do? It is what it is. Now, here's a task for you listeners. Can you guess which culture will be featured in our next story? Let us know in the comment box below. And see you later. It's Fable with Dina Gama.